I've lost my daughter. Ali! Maybe you should speak to Dr. Meath. This time of year is always bad. She said they never found the little girl's body. It is her, David. We saw our baby. Our daughter is dead. That is not your daughter, all right? Get away! No! Don't buy a baby! Get away from her! I'm so sorry. Just over an hour ago, she told us that in 1996, a year before she met Stephen Taylor, she abducted her four-year-old child from a beach. And that child is Laurie. <laughs> She's my daughter and that woman's just admitted it. We have to do a blood test. Social services have to be involved, the courts. There are procedures, legal procedures. It's all stuff to protect Laurie's interests. Alice. Okay, her name is Alice. Looks like just you and me, kiddo. For a bit, anyway. Come here, come on. How are we doing? Right. This is the situation. The swabs have been sent off to the lab. They will be fast-tracked. Joanna Taylor is being kept in custody pending the results of those tests. In the meantime, and given her age, we had little control over this. Laurie, Alice, has chosen to go back to her home with her, with Mr. Taylor. S sorry, what do you mean, given her age? She's 16, Sarah. Legally, she's an adult. She has a right to make her own decisions. No, she's 14. But she's 16. Excuse me. I know how old she is, I know when her birthday is, and I am telling you that she is 14 years, five months, and three weeks old. She would have guessed, wouldn't she? Um... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Laurie! Laurie! Where are you? Bastard! Just calm down. You're calm back! Down. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Sorry! Come on. Come on. You'll be all right. <laughs> well, nothing certain yet, but everyone seems to think that it almost certainly is Alice. When will we know for sure? Oh, no, it, it, it is Alice, darling. I know. It's your sister. Well, uh, if Mum's right, this is obviously a fairly momentous piece of news. It's a, it's a very happy one, but one that is going to have a big impact on all our lives. And we just want you to know that right from the start, we're here for you.
to talk to. Whenever you want. But as your dad says, we should all be very happy about this. Will she come and live with us? Well, of course she'll come and live with us, darling. I mean, she's your sister. She's our daughter. She's part of the family. What does she look like? Oh, she is so pretty, Jazz. So pretty. You're going to love her. I know it. Whose room will she have? Well, I don't know, darling, yet. I mean, we'll sort these things out. Well, she's not sharing my room. Jasmine. Let, let her go. Jasmine, come back. I'll go and speak to her in a minute. It'll be fine. I think it's cool, Mum. I never knew her, but I'm pleased for you. Thanks, Shawnee. What did you expect? <laughs> well, more than that. So when can I see her? Soon. I'm sure, very soon. Okay. Look after yourself, yeah? Thank you, yeah, I will. The results of the tests came back an hour ago and confirmed that Laurie Taylor is indeed your daughter, Alice. So what happens now? Well, obviously, we don't want her in care any longer than is absolutely necessary. Um, but um, I hope you agree with this. To suggest to her that she come and live with you immediately would be very traumatic for her. Yeah, of, of course, yeah, ab absolutely. So if she's agreeable, her needs are obviously paramount. We want to suggest a series of visits over a period of weeks and months, which, if all goes well, would lead to her being able to move in permanently. How does that sound? So when will the first visit be? Well, we thought initially it might be an idea to put together a sort of folder about you all to show to her. What, like a brochure? Sarah, they are trying to help. No, I know, but I just, I just want to see her. I just want to hold her. I mean, that's not unreasonable, is it? No, of course it isn't, Sarah. Um, we completely understand how hard this must be for both of you. So really, the sooner we can show her something, the better. This is Sean. He's 12, nearly 13 now. And that's Jasmine. They call her Jazz. That's me. I remember that bike. I remember this. Jeez. I remember them. I want to see my... I want to see her in prison. I know I did a terrible thing. But I always loved you. And, and all I ever wanted was for you to be happy. <laughs> Say something, please. How does it feel? <laughs> How does it feel, Joanna? To know you've ruined so many lives. Laurie. Alice. My name is Alice. Laurie, please. Laurie. Sit down, please, please. 
don't want to meet my parents. Okay? Yeah. If it all gets too much, you tell me. This is Sarah. Hi. Hi. I can call you Laurie if you'd like. Yep. Alice is fine. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely petrified. <laughs> oh, welcome home, Ellie. Oh, welcome home. <laughs> should, should we go in and meet the others? Yeah, of course. Sorry. Come on. This is David. David, hi. Hello, Alice. We're very glad to have you here today. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and this is Sean. Hi. Hi. Shawnee. Oh, that's Shawnee. And finally, this is Jazz. All right, Jazz. Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Okay, well, uh, why don't we let Alice put her, her bag in her room and get herself settled and we'll take it from there? Mm. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To follow me. I hope you like it. But I mean, if you don't, we can, um, we can change it. It's bigger than our old flat. Whose is that? That's yours. Just mine? Just yours. Well, listen, unpack your bag, take your time, and when you're ready, if you're hungry, come and join us. Okay. Am I what you expected? Exactly. You are exactly how I imagined in every way. You're... <laughs> you're perfect, Ali. <laughs> Not trust me. Do you remember me? Do you remember? The way you smell. It's clean, like washing. <laughs> Didn't know I forgot it till I remembered it. <laughs> well, listen, um, like I said, take your time. Okay. There's no rush. No rush at all. So, um, what, what sort of school do you go to, Alice? Elmbrook. It's a bit of shit old, to be honest. Sorry. Don't worry, it's fine. It's normal around ours. Well, was normal. It, it's fine. Don't you worry. Why is it a shithole, then? Jazz. Why, why don't you like it, Alice? Just don't. Don't think I was cut out for exams and all that. What subjects are you doing in sick form? Oh, I'm not. I'm leaving in a couple of months. I didn't get any decent mocks anyway, so I thought, you know. Well, of course, you are actually in the wrong year. So, I mean, if you wanted to, maybe you could take them again. Hmm. Uh, not that 
not bothered, to be honest. Well, your school's great, isn't it? Jazz. I mean, maybe we could show Alice some pictures later. Okay. Um, Alice, um, we would actually prefer... You'll need an ashtray, won't you? Um... I'll, um, see if I can dig one out. Well done. I thought you did brilliantly today. Oh, thank you. Sorry, hang on, I just don't, don't want to spill this. I thought you'd like a hot drink. Oh, thanks. Listen, I was going to wait a few weeks to give you this, but, um... Joanna Taylor remained impassive throughout the brief hearing and spoke only to confirm her name and to enter a plea of guilty. No bail application has been made and she'll remain in custody till the trial, which the judge set for just under three months' time. You spoiled fucking quickness! Push, bitch! Hey, all right, money bags, lend us a pound. Off to your push school then. Ah, babes, I'm sorry. Leave me alone. This is Alice Hooper, Ward of Court. Good morning. Okay, in our favour, you were clearly mentally unbalanced when you took her. We have doctor's records detailing repeat prescriptions for antidepressants. The punishment you've already suffered as a result of having Laurie taken away. And the loving home you've provided for her over the past 11 years. And against us? The victims. Her, her family, her real parents, her real mother what you took from them, what you took from her. If the prosecution do their job well when it comes to trial, it won't be good. She's yours. Nick, take her home. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, David. Oh. <laughs> thank you. I'm so relieved. <laughs> but it's your birthday, Alice. Ever. The party will be fun. I've already done a 15th once and a 16th, and they're all that, all right? Well, you could think about it. Why do you 
you talk like that? Like what? Like you're black or something. Jasmine! I was just asking. No, can you finish your homework upstairs, please? Mum! Upstairs. Hello? Is that Sarah? Yes. It's Joanna Taylor. You said you wanted to ask something of me. You can probably guess what. I wanted to ask if you could forgive me. I know what I put you through. And I am so, so sorry for that. Believe me, now I know what that must have felt like. And that's why I hope you'll understand why I'm asking you for something else as well. I, I don't know if he was planning to speak or anything in court. I wanted to ask, I was hoping you might say you don't want me to go to prison. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for Laurie. And I know, I know she's angry, and I know she doesn't want to see me at the moment. But I was her mum for 11 years. And I brought her up, and I gave her everything I could. And I think she'll realise that. And I'll, I think she'll want me to have a place in her life. And I, I, I know she's yours now. But surely it'd be better for her if I was there for her too. And I'm sure you understand, because well, we're both mums, aren't we? No. OK, you are wrong. And you are frankly deranged if you think I will ever allow you any place in my daughter's life again. And I wouldn't speak for you if my life depended on Sarah, it. No, please. I hope they give you the maximum they can. I hope you rot in here. Well, I think you should consider it. I think it might do you some good. Do me good? Are you happy, sir? Because you don't seem it. I thought Alice would give me back the woman I married. Look, but... I want her to suffer. Like I did. I mean, that's what she deserves. Surely you understand that. And you don't think it's time to move on? What, like you did, you mean? Sir. No. David, I found her because I didn't move on. Because in here, as a mother, I knew that I was right. And I feel the same way now. Whatever I do, I do to protect Alice. And you know what? I find it depressing, actually, as her father, that you don't see that. You have to speak to her. Tell her what you tell me. Well, how can you speak to someone that you don't understand anymore? I mean, I don't know her anymore. I'm not even sure I know myself.
There is no question that what you did was a dreadful thing. The suffering you put the Hooper family through is one that perhaps you only now understand. Finding yourself as they did 11 years ago, robbed of the thing most precious to you. I have no doubt, as your counsel has said, that you were not fully mentally aware of what you were doing when you took Alice Hooper. But this does not begin to explain why, once your depression lifted as it surely did, you did not own up to your crime. What is clear, however, is that you and your partner brought the girl up with all the love and devotion you could give her. In my sentencing, I'm minded to consider both this and the fact that no sentence I pronounce can give them back what you took. Joanna Marion Taylor, I therefore sentence you to the term of five years imprisonment, which term, after much consideration, I'm going to suspend for five years on the condition that you make no further attempt to contact the young girl you once called your daughter. Any breach of this condition will result in your immediate return to jail to serve the full term of your sentence. Do you understand that? Yes, I understand. Then you're free to go. The court will rise. She took her once. She could do it again. Or something worse. She is desperate, David. Well, if you force people into a corner, they do desperate things. What, so it's my fault, is it? Because I didn't speak for her. No, I'm not saying that. You'd side with her? I'm not siding with anyone. I'm just trying to find a way forward, Sarah. We're out of milk. Said we're out of yeah, milk. Yeah, I heard you. Don't you be angry with me. Don't you be angry. What do you want from me, Stephen? I've said all the sorries I can. I can't give you anything more. I can't give you anything that will make it all better. Is, is this it then? Is this how it is now? What else is there? I mean, tell me, if you've got some great scheme, please, please tell me. Was she all that kept us together? I didn't think so. I was just wondering if you'd seen her. Who? Sorry. Alice. Yeah, have you? Yeah, I've seen her. You, you've been to her house? No, she comes down here, innit? She comes back here. A few times. Right. Yes, isn't it? So, how is she then? All right. She know I'm out? Don't know. She not mention me then? At all? Sometimes. Does she? What'd she say? What? Does she still hate me? I don't know what she thinks, man. She just messed up with it all, you know? So, like, you've not been out to hers yet? No, well, not yet. <sighs> Rich, aren't they? God, but she loves all that. Going Friday. Having a birthday party for her. See you around, yeah? Hi. Hiya. I'm a bit late. Yeah. Uh, went for a coffee with some of the girls in my class. Did you? Yeah. 
Well, that's great. Which girls? Are they coming to the party? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna get changed. Uh, sorry, I was just grabbing these. That's okay. I'll get out of your hair. And this is her party, and if that's the way she wants it. Right, and what, and what Alice wants is... Oh, David, please don't make a scene. Please. All right, whatever. That's your call.
Hold, hold everything, hold everything. Just tell them it's a dessert. I can't tell I can't walk in these things. What the hell? What's going on? Listen, I had one sip and then I realized it was a mistake, okay? Well, then I'm just struggling to work out how you managed to miss our house being trashed, our daughter taking drugs, and the neighbours calling the police. Yeah, well, where the hell were you? I went to the pub mm. because you said they were fine. You said they weren't doing any harm. For God's sake, Dana, why don't you just come out and say it? Mm? At least be honest. Say what? Well, if it wasn't for Alice, everything would be fine. She was the one that invited them. It's all her fault, isn't it? The house, Jazz, us. Us? What do you mean, us? <laughs> Look, all I know is, since she came back, things have been worse, Sarah. Not better, worse. We got a call about Jasmine. I thought it might be a good idea if we came around and see how she was. How are you all? Well, she's fine. We're all fine. Where's Alice? Well, she's here, isn't she? She said she was going up to the hospital to see Jess. Well, listen, I'll just get Jazz to bed and then I'll drive up there. We must have just missed each other. I think you probably need to get some kip as well, Sean. I'm, I'm fine. Up now, please. Please, just... He said she taking them loads of times. Oh, Jazz. Listen to me. You are you, Jazz. You're you. And that's all you should ever want to be. That's all we ever want you to be. Oh, darling. All we're saying is, it's not a problem to have problems, and we're here to help. Sean shouldn't have been left alone, you know. We thought Alice was with him. Sure, though it's not really her responsibility to look after Sean. You know what? Now's not actually the best time for this, so would you mind very much if I asked you to leave? Please let us know that Alice is OK. attached to your family, Sarah, not just Alice. And if I see any child not being cared for properly... What is it? Well, what do you think it is? It's from her. And you thought I was being paranoid. You thought I was imagining things. Oh, Sarah. No, this woman is evil, David. And she will do everything in her power to try and lure Alice back. Lure her back? Jesus, if we keep on going the way we're going, she won't need to be lured back. She'll be bloody sprinting back. My God, I can't believe you just said that. <sighs> Christ's sake, would you want to live like this? We're, we're, we're a sister who can't stand the sight of her. A brother who's got a bloody crush on her. And a mother 
who is so consumed with fear that she can't see that her own family is falling apart. Oh, fuck you, David. Do you know what the real problem is? A father who doesn't love her. Oh, that is crap. That is absolute crap. Where are you going? To find her. Where do you think I'm going? To find her where? You will not destroy our family. I swear. Where is she? Leave me alone. Is she here? I've got nothing to say to you. Listen, I know what you've done. And I'm going to go straight from here, and I'm going to call the police, and you are going to go to prison! I can't stop her coming over here! She's been here. Loads of times. No, you're lying. She loves me. I brought her up for 11 years. I was her mother. She still loves me. No. No, she hates you. No, she told me. She said she ain't living no. with you in your stuck-up family. And as soon as he's 16, she's going to leave. Please, please don't take her away from me. She's my daughter too. I can't bear. Please, please. I'm sorry. Please don't. The nick that kid, she jumped. I don't think anyone would have wanted a dead I'm pretty sure of that. We don't believe she killed herself. We don't believe she jumped. I left her confused and upset and unhappy. I hated her when she was alive and I hate her now that she is dead for what she is still doing to my family. Sarah, she's there. 